Launcher, the first spacecraft in the Young Stuff space program. Our goal was to build a spacecraft and launch it into space. Or at least, as close to space as we could get. We bought several items from an awesome website called High Altitude Science, including a weather balloon, parachute, and flight computer. Our first version of our spacecraft was made out of PVC pipe, but that was too heavy. So we, re so we redesigned it to use arrow shafts from some of my bent archery arrows, which were much lighter. We attached styrofoam balls to the bottom in the event that we had a water landing. when we were getting ready for launch day, we took a long time trying to find a good launch site. We almost scrubbed our launch due to the weather. We're lucky we didn't because the weather turned out to be just fine. To GoPro, we had two cameras on our spacecraft, one pointed sideways and one pointed up. We were going to point one down, but, the, but at the last minute we changed our minds and pointed it up, hoping to film the balloon bursting. Unfortunately, our battery ran out before then. launching the Loki Lego Launcher. We had worked on it for weeks, and finally, the big moment was here. As you could see, we were pretty excited. I like dancing, okay? We call it the Loki Lego Launcher because Loki is our cat, and we're going to and we were going to send Lego Hagrid into space, but decided to go with Lego R2D2 instead. about adding a flight computer to our spacecraft is because of all the data we were able to collect on our mission. One thing we learned was that the balloon ascended at a very constant rate. Another thing we learned is that it got really cold as the balloon went higher. However, as the balloon ascended past 30,000 feet, the temperature actually started going up instead of down. This is because we were leaving the troposphere and getting into the stratosphere. It was really cool to see how the Earth looked from up there. It makes us think about how small we are. Our spacecraft got up to 78,000 feet. That's two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. 
We discovered that our spacecraft was moving at an average speed of 35 kilometers an hour. However, after the balloon burst, at one point it reached a peak speed of 110 kilometers an hour. That was during the tropopods, which is the area between the troposphere and the stratosphere. That's super fast. When we were on the ground, we were waiting for regular updates from our Spot Trace satellite GPS device. Lots of mom and dad's Facebook friends were waiting for spot updates as well. That was pretty funny. However, we had read that the spot trace didn't work above 20,000 feet. As a result, we were really confused about what our spacecraft was doing. It turns out that the spot works way above 21,000 feet. It was working all the way up to 60,000 feet. So it turns out we were worrying for nothing. One of our goals was to try to see the blackness of space. And here is our Loki Lego launcher, right on the edge of space. We were not able to film the balloon bursting because our camera battery died, but we're glad we were able to film this. When our balloon burst, the space cap came down really fast, even with a parachute. We chose a launch site in central Washington to make sure that it didn't land on anyone, except maybe a cow. I'm sorry about climbing the fence. Thank goodness for GPS. We would never have found it without GPS. We even walked right by it the first time. We learned a lot of things from this project. Always be optimistic because we thought things were going wrong when in fact everything was working out just fine. And if we had a redundant tracking system, we might not have been so worried. And it's not good to speculate. You always want to rely on data and facts. And having a good project plan is a really good idea. And having an awesome teammate is also a really good idea. We hope you enjoyed watching our Loki Lego Launcher video. We had a lot of fun on this project. Bye! Thanks for watching!